My sister um, went to visit the Naval Academy and she fell in love. And she's three years older than I am, so she couldn't get into the Naval Academy right away, so she enlisted and then got in. But it was her passion to serve her country, her passion for service and commitment, and finally the camaraderie that she saw that really attracted me to the Navy. I'm Lieutenant Commander Josephine Nguyen, Medical Corps Recruiting Fellow. I serve in America's Navy. When I applied to college, I knew I wanted to be a doctor, and I wanted to go to the top schools in the country. Um, and to be honest, I, I wasn't thinking about the Naval Academy at all or joining the Navy, um, but because of financial reasons, I, I decided to join. And to be honest, I think it was a blessing in disguise. From the Naval Academy, they allow up to 15 people go to medical school. So they apply for, to medical school and they apply for one of the Navy HPSP scholarships. And I received one of those scholarships. So you can use that scholarship to go to whatever school you can get into. Being at the Naval Academy, I was surrounded by people that are so patriotic. They, they just want to give back to their country and become good leaders and, and to serve others. And you are a product of those you surround yourself with. That's my desire now, is to serve not only my country, but to serve the people around you. Most doctors, ho hopefully all, come in because they love people and they we want to take care of them. In the civilian sector, I had to deny patients care. I didn't deny them medicine. I spent 25% of my time dealing with insurance companies. So now that I'm practicing medicine in the military sector, I'm so happy because I can see whoever I want. I never have to deny care. If I want to give the top medicine, top line medicine, I can give that. I can ask for special arrangements to, to give them that. And if I want to spend an extra five to 10 minutes with my patient, I can do that. I can practice medicine in the way that it's meant to be practiced, giving patients your full time, your full energy, and to, to treat patients with love. My goals are no longer focused on myself, but I can now focus on other people around me, my patients, my peers, my colleagues. So that's why I can say that every single day I, is my, my proudest moment, my, mo my greatest accomplishment, is because I have learned to live for others rather than for myself.